Welcome to a new video. In this video we are going to talk about the exotic foods that can actually kill you. If you are searching for this type of video, then you are at the right place. Let's get into the video. When it comes to the long list of dangers in this world, many people jump to the more obvious ones. Stepping outside can get you killed by a snake bite in many parts of the world, or if you live in Florida or Australia, you might be attacked by an alligator or crocodile on your afternoon stroll. Tornadoes, fires, drowning, car accidents, and even other people can kill you easily. But when we think of objects of death, rarely do we stroll into the kitchen, past the knives, and head for the refrigerator or food pantry. But there is actually a long laundry list of regular, run-of-the-mill foods which are absolutely deadly. Here are 10 common household foods which can be lethal. Number 1 is nutmeg. While most of us look at nutmeg and think of it as a spice, a nice little dash of flavor for our coffee or any other food which needs its rich, aromatic, nutty flavor, nutmeg is actually a hallucinogen at higher doses. 1. Nutmeg can cause dizziness, vomiting, nausea, central nervous system excitation, and even death. It takes about two tablespoons before someone starts feeling the painful and powerful effects of nutmeg, but it's definitely no joke. It has landed hundreds of people, often looking for a cheap high or good time, in the hospital. The toxicity of nutmeg is surprisingly high for something sold in grocery stores and found in plenty of spice racks. There's a surprisingly small margin between the amount that'll simply spice up your eggnog and the amount that'll cause toxic effects. It's powerful enough that it was even historically used as birth control, to terminate unwanted pregnancies, and to fight the Black Death. Number 2 is Apricot Seeds. In the United States, it's easy to buy whole, raw apricots in the produce section of the grocery store. This is surprising because of the lethality of apricot seeds. They can kill you if you eat them. Apricot seeds contain a chemical called laetrile or amygdalin, which is highly toxic. Many people falsely believe that apricot seeds can cure cancer. They are also ground up and sold as vitamin B17. In the human body, amygdalin is converted into hydrogen cyanide and can kill the person who consumed it, too, as we will see, many, many fruit seeds are actually poisonous for one reason or another but apricot seeds, vitamin B17, laetrile, or whatever you wish to call it, definitely produces cyanide in the gut and can definitely kill you. Number 3 is almonds. In 2014, Whole Foods had to recall some of its bitter almonds as they contain traces of hydrocyanic acid and glycoside amygdalin, which, when heated or exposed to certain other conditions or chemicals, like the kinds in your digestive system, will be converted to hydrogen cyanide. 3. That's right amygdalin again, just like with the apricot seeds. Both raw almonds and apricot seeds are marketed health products, but both can be deadly when ingested. Cyanide compounds are actually pretty ubiquitous and plentiful in nature, in fact, if you walked out into nature and just began eating food, many of the things you ate raw could kill you, as is, without human intervention. Number 4 is Potatoes. Glycoalkaloids are a chemical compound that occurs naturally in various plants, such as bittersweet nightshade, a plant related to tomatoes and, believe it or not, potatoes. These plants contain solanine, a chemical which, in large enough doses, is actually toxic. Symptoms of solanine poisoning include nausea, dizziness, rapid heartbeat, and worst of all, respiratory failure, leading to death. Yes, you can die from eating potatoes, for, a grown, 91 kg, 200 pounds, adult would need to consume 0.9 kilograms, 2 pounds, of fully green potatoes to ingest enough solanine to kill them, which, if you think about it, really isn't a lot. Number 5 is tomato plants. Tomato plants are another potentially lethal plant and also a relative to the bittersweet nightshade plant, as mentioned above. Thus, as logic would deduce, parts of tomato plants are also loaded with glycoalkaloids and possess solanine, with all of the same symptoms as the potato, including vomiting, nausea, dizziness, drowsiness, and, of course, respiratory failure up to and including death. The good news is that the poison resides in the leaves and vines, not in the tomatoes themselves, so eat as many actual tomatoes as you'd like, to your heart's desire. Just stay away from the green areas, like the vine the tomato grows on. Number 6 is Rhubarb. 
Rhubarb may not be as common as potatoes or tomatoes in our kitchens, but this leafy vegetable, wait, is it a fruit? Well, it is actually a vegetable but is labeled a fruit in America based on a legal ruling in 1947. Regardless, it is often used in cocktails and as a tangy sweet pie filling. However, the plant's leaves contain oxalic acid, a chemical also used in household bleach and anti-rust products, oh my. Oxalic acid occurs naturally in certain foods, leafy greens, fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, and cocoa. Symptoms of oxalate poisoning include nausea, vomiting, convulsions, and even death. If the leaves of the rhubarb plant are eaten, they can also cause a burning sensation in the mouth and throat. Cooking the leaves will not remove the acid. The likelihood of dying from eating too much rhubarb is very low. The average lethal dose for oxalic acid is estimated at 170 mg per pound, 375 mg per kg, of body weight, which is approximately 26.3 grams for a 154 pound, 70 kg, person. This means you would have to eat 10 pounds of rhubarb in one sitting. So, unless you happen to be addicted to strawberry rhubarb pie, you're probably safe. That's it for this video, we hope you enjoyed it. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel.